And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Perhaps you're in one of those game groups where people can never decide what game to play next. That happens sometimes, depends, or so maybe the strong-willed person always gets to play the game they want, or you have some other way. But let's say you're milling around, and you say, I want to play this. People say, I don't want to play that. Well, here we have something called Game Election. This is a tool in which up to six players can vote on what game they want to play. So everyone's gonna pick some games and you're gonna vote amongst those games. I suppose you could use this for ice cream and pizza toppings too if you want to, I don't know. Anyhow, let me show you how it works. So you put out on the table all the games that people want to play. So you can have up to eight different games. So we have Fair Tale, Boys, There's More, The Seven Seals, Diamonds, One Night, Ultimate Werewolf, Coup, Gangster, Ink, and Gold. There's a set of nine cards for each player. You're going to take one more card than the number of games that are out there. So if there was, uh, for example, only seven games, then I would get rid of card number nine. So I look at my cards, and most of the cards have yes or no on them, yay or nay. Some cards have veto, which is a stronger no, double yeses that you can play. So I'm like, okay, well, I really am not in the mood to play diamonds, okay? And I'm also not in the mood to play the seven seals. Those are trick-taking games, and I like trick-taking games. I just don't feel like that today. But I really want to play One Night Ultimate Werewolf, and I want to play Ink and Gold. Not really in the mood for gangsters, not in the mood for coup. I, I wouldn't mind playing fairy tale, or but wait, there's more. So I have one card left over. Now this one card left over gives me a special ability that I can use in case there's a tie or something like that. Everybody else then is going to be doing the same thing. So you're going to have stacks of cards placed by each player, and there can be up to six people who are placing these on the games. Once everyone has played their cards on a game, you're just going to count the votes. So here we do it. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. Six yeses and one no. All right? For diamonds, we have one, two, <laughs> but there are vetoes. Each veto is minus votes equal to the number of vetoes there. There's five here, so this is minus 25 plus two yeses. Diamonds is not getting played today. It's a great game, folks. Don't let me. Okay. Here we have uh, four yeses, and we have uh, five yeses total, and then we have three vetoes, so n minus nine one Night Ultimate Werewolf isn't making it either. Here we have one, two, three, four, five. The veto is only minus one, so that is a total of four. But wait, there's more. It's still winning this one here. We have one, two, and a veto minus one, so this is one. People don't want to play fairy tales. The Seven Seals has four, five, six, seven minus one, so it's at six. Coup has one, two, three, three total. And Gangster has one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one is five. So Seven Seals has six. And two, three, four, five, six. This also has six. So I say, ho, ho, I play this. This game wins ties. I want, but wait, there's more. However, because I played this card, I have to clean up the winning game. Well, but wait, there's more. Isn't that hard to clean up? So I can play that that game wins ties. Somebody else might have a card, but I played mine first. If there's still a tie, then um, you just have to flip a coin at this point. But um, here you can swap two person's votes, but if you do that, they get to pick what faction and color you're doing. You can cancel someone's vote. Again, the card you keep back can be used, but they're good cards, they're the vetoes or the double yays. And that's essentially it. That's how you pick the game. The system here is clever. I like it. The cards are nice quality, it works, it's easy to read. I like the special abilities. I have still ended up with a couple ties using this methodology, but it works, okay? I just don't know how necessary it is. I mean, are you actually gonna pay? I think this is more like of a gag gift or just something for like the person who has everything. They say, hey, let's get a miss. And I could see some groups maybe absolutely need this. Mine doesn't, but maybe you do need this. Like, oh, we can never decide what to play. Then buy this, it will help. Like I said, the voting system is interesting. You're sitting there going, okay, definitely vetoing that. Your veto may not have a lot of power, but if two people veto something, it's probably out, right? Because two times two is four. 
If three people you veto it, it's definitely out. The double yes votes, where are you going to place those? It's, it's not complex. It takes a voting game. I actually wouldn't mind if there was like a, this, this idea here was then taken and put into a game somehow. We're voting on people. That'd be interesting and entertaining. I would like that. As it is, like I said, this is more of a, hey, yeah, here, Tom, I got you this for Christmas and give it to somebody. So that's game election. Not necessarily a game, but a way to pick your next one. Dice Tower Judgment approved, but not necessary. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.